In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get a Dropbox API key. Getting started with the Dropbox API for your development projects can seem daunting at first, but fear not. I'm here to walk you through the process step by step, making it as straightforward as possible. Whether you're working on an app that requires access to Dropbox files, or you're integrating Dropbox functionality into your service, obtaining an API key is your first big step. Firstly, we need to navigate to the Dropbox developer platform. It's a specialized area where Dropbox provides all the necessary tools, documentation, and community support for developers. Simply go to the Dropbox DBX platform for developers webpage. This platform is your gateway to all things development within Dropbox, offering a robust set of tools for your project. Once you're on the platform's homepage, you'll need to log into your Dropbox account. Look for the login button and click it. If you've already logged into Dropbox in your browser, you might not see this step, for those of you who prefer using your Google account to sign in, Dropbox has made things easy. Just click on continue with Google and follow the prompts to log in using your Google credentials. It's a quick and seamless way to authenticate, especially if you're juggling multiple accounts. After you're logged in, there's a quick adjustment you need to make to the URL you're on. In your web browser's address bar, edit the current URL to dropbox.com developers and press enter. This direct navigation ensures you're in the right spot to start the process of creating an app within Dropbox, which is essential for obtaining your API key. Now look for and click on the Create Apps option. This action redirects you to a new page where you'll begin the actual process of creating a new app. Creating an app in this context doesn't mean you're developing software right this second, rather you're setting up a placeholder within Dropbox for your project. This app will have permissions and credentials like the API key we're after. On the app creation page, you'll see an option for scoped access. Click on it. Dropbox provides two main types of access for your applications, scoped and legacy. Scoped access is the newer, more granular access model that lets you specify exactly what your application can and cannot do within a user's Dropbox. This model enhances security and gives both you and the app users peace of mind. After selecting scoped access, it's time to define the level of access your application will need to the user's Dropbox. For the purposes of this tutorial, click on full Dropbox. This gives your app access to all files and folders in the user's Dropbox, but with great power comes great responsibility. Always be mindful of user data and privacy. Next up, naming your app. Choose a unique name that resonates with your project. This name will help you and others identify the app in the Dropbox platform. Once you've filled in the name, don't forget to tick the box to agree to the Dropbox API Terms of Service. It's crucial to review these terms carefully to ensure compliance with Dropbox policies. With the app name set and terms agreed upon, you'll spot a Create App button. Click it to finalize the creation of your app. This step is where the magic happens. Your placeholder app gets officially registered on Dropbox, getting you closer to that coveted API key. Finally, after your app is created, you'll be directed to its settings page. Here you need to find and click on the Generate Access Token option. This action creates a unique token that your application can use to authenticate API calls to Dropbox. Treat this token like a password. It's the key to your app's ability to interact with Dropbox on behalf of yourself or your users. And there you have it. You've successfully navigated your way through the Dropbox developer platform and created an app complete with its own API key. With this key, you're ready to start integrating Dropbox's powerful cloud storage capabilities into your own projects. Remember, as you develop, keep security, user privacy, and Dropbox's terms in mind to create safe and enjoyable experiences for your users. This walkthrough aimed to demystify the process of getting a Dropbox API key. But if you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to explore more in-depth documentation on Dropbox developer site or reach out to their support. They offer a wealth of resources tailored to help developers succeed in their projects. Good luck with your app and happy coding.